When you're done with your video and you're ready to publish, go to the top right corner and click Finish. From here, I want you to select, instead of SD, select HD. I also would like you to click on the drive symbol right there. That means it'll share straight to your drive. If you'd like, you can share it to your YouTube channel if you have it connected. Mine's not connected right now, so I'm not going to use it. I like to save it straight to my drive. It's really easy that way. You'll click export and just wait for it to uh, download and uh, process. Um, once it's processed, you can see I've just been making a lot of videos. It has a link there um, that you can access it. You can also find it then in your drive in recent. You'll see all the other tutorial videos I've been making uh, here. And if you click on it, you can then share your video. Click on the share settings. We're going to go through how to add subtitles to your video. I'm going to turn that off. <laughs> Click on your share settings. Um, and then it will be set automatically to anyone the link can view. If you'd like to change that, you can. But you can click get the shareable link. And then turn in that link where your teacher advises you to. If you want to go back and find any of your videos you've made, you can go to your dashboard and it will have all of um, your recent videos, but you can also go to your projects and I've got all my projects, my media, I've got my exports. These are all the videos that I have produced um, and so easy to find. Anytime you log into WeVideo, you'll see all of that along these toolbars.